What is up everybody, Savage Lord Barlow here and I am back with another episode, episode 3 of Hollywood U Rising Stars. Now the quest that we're going to be doing today is going off script, but right before we get into this quest, guys, hit that thumbs up button, support your boy, and uh, I'm going to keep cranking out these episodes. I'm going to try to release like 4 or 5 episodes a day, maybe more, I don't know yet. And um, guys, if this quest is like really short, should I just keep doing... Like, should I start up another quest or should I just end the video off and just upload a short quest? I'm probably just going to upload a short quest because I don't want to do, like, too many quests in one video. Anyways, with that being said, guys, hit that thumbs up button and let's get into this quest. I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. You're going to be my girlfriend. You keep playing. The next day, Vienna grabs a seat beside, beside you in class. Together, I bet we've got a real shot at impressing Professor Hunt, Dennis. And with his connections, who knows? This time next year, we could be sipping champagne at, Con at Connie's Instagram pics from the Riviera to all my Vienna mas Vienna Asters. Vienna Asters. You're who what now? Vienna Asters. That's my fan club. Only a few hundred of them for now. But after you and me ace this course, I might be taking on another zero. Yeah. Tack tacking on another zero, not taking. Professor Hunt really has that much influence, huh? The man's a genius, plain and simple, but honestly, between your natural talent and my rigorous method, you and me could be teaching this improv imp this improved acting class this improved acting class. Uh Vienna, I think the syllabus said that was improv acting week. You know, like improv improvision. Improv. Wait, were you where you come up with your own jokes and everything, like in front of people? Bro, I'm not understanding these words at all that she's trying to say. Okay, guys, give me a sec. Yep, should be fun. Uh-oh. Well, I guess everybody's got to try, try new things sometime, right? All right. In class, Professor Hunt sits casually on the edge of the stage. He scans the faces of his students. No matter what you do in this town, you have to play well with the... You have to play well with others, or you will fail spectacularly. Spectacularly. Okay. Unless you command so much respect that you no longer have to. But I'm just a, but I'm just the exception that proves the rule. Among the students, Vienna whispers to you. Look at him, Dennis. He may be retired from acting, but he's still got the posture, the poise, the, the presence. One day I'll be just like him. I'm like his biggest fan. Sounds like he's his biggest fan. This week, we're partnering up for a week of improv. You'll be feeding off each other's energy, infusing vivid naturalism into your dialogue. Or, or at the very least, proving you're capable of conversing like someone with, conversing like someone with a working brainstem. Dennis and Vienna are taking an improv class. Wait, who's, whose line is it? Professor Hunt hops off the stage. I said hops off the stage. Professor Hunt hops off the edge of the stage and places up, <clears throat> and paces up the aisle. Uh, yeah, the aisles, aisle, aisle, aisles of the theater. Let's kick this off with a simple warm-up exercise. Even you doe-eyed do -eyed newbies should be able to handle that. You and your partner will sustain the conversation speaking only in famous movie quotes. Got it? Good. Hunt's eyes seek out, seek you out in the room. Hunt's eyes seek you out in the room. Ah, Dennis. Yes, Professor? Why don't you and Vienna lead us off? We might as well start small. Ooh, no, he didn't. Go ahead, Dennis. Set a shining example for your classmates. You and Vienna get up on stage in front of the class, your footsteps echoing in a large theater. Okay, I can handle this. Dennis, how do I look? I look okay, right? The game is to speak only in movie quotes. Don't hang your partner out to dry, and for the love of God, don't bore me. Thinking hard, you take a deep breath, turn to Vienna and say, do you want to build a snowman? Do you want to build a snowman? I volunteer as a tribute. Together you and Vienna act as if you're crafting a small snowman out of thin air. Vienna hugs the invisible snowman. You complete me. You pretend to kick over the brand new snowman. Vienna gasps in horror. I'm king of the world. And scene. You both bow. The whole class applauds and Vienna soaks it up. You grin at Professor Hunt. Are you not entertained? All right, all right. That wasn't it. That wasn't irredeemably terrible. Who's next? Did you hear that, Dennis? The Thomas Hunt said we weren't irredeemably terrible. Um, yay. 
kind of thought we deserved more credit than that. You're you kidding? You kidding? That's the nicest thing I've ever heard the guy say. You were way better than not terrible. You always had the right line to say, and you look great up there. I've got all those quotes right here in my head. I've seen all those movies like, like literally 50 times. You must watch a lot of movies. Gotta study the masters if you're going to be one of them, you know? Dennis and Vienna just aced their first improv scene. Have you ever tried improv? Soon everyone in class has completed the warm-up exercise. You haven't, com you haven't completely embarrassed yourselves yet. But now we get to but now we get to the fun part. Each team will be filming a short scene. If you're lucky, the scene won't end with you running off off offset in tears. Now this is more my speed. Ready for my close ready for my close up. Know what I mean, Dennis? Time for all that method training to pay off. Excuse me, Professor Hunt. When do we get our scripts? Scripts? Will you be needing me to hold your hand through the scene too? Or perhaps I should give you a bottle and change your diaper. This conversation got weird. This is improv, Vienna. 100% ad lib. I come up with your characters, you come up with the scene. That's simple. Uh, sure, simple. Alright, this dude is a, a piece of work, shall I say. This time your improv goes on tape, so you can see for yourselves just how amateur you all are. As the whole class looks on, Emilio sets up a camera to film, <clears throat> to film your improv scene with Vienna. So, um, Emilio, any pointers? I'm not directing you, Vienna. I'm just here to make you look good. This is your scene. Are we done socializing? Good. Let's begin. Dennis, you're a very alarmed patient at a hospital, and Vienna is a doctor who only practices 18th century medicine. And go. You hurry onto the stage. Doc, you gotta help me. Uh. Did he say I was an alerted patient? I'm gonna say. I got a paper cut. No, I'm saying I, I'm covered in leeches. Hold on, if I'm a patient already, I can't be covered in leeches. Vienna tenses up for a moment, mind racing, then finally responds. Then time is short. We must amputate the whole arm. The class chuckles. Vienna smiles relieved, but then Professor Hunt shouts over everyone. Cut! Again! From the top. Huh? What was wrong? Wait, I thought I nailed it. Don't flatter yourself. You did okay. But this is improv. Every take you come up with, something new. Yeah, every day you come up with something new. Action. Man, this dude tripping. He tripping, tripping. Okay, people, take two. You run into Vienna as Emilio pans the camera to follow you. Doc, you gotta help me. My entire family has this sensory. Vienna hesitates. The time is short. We must amputate. Cut, cut, cut. Vienna, do you see a script in front of you? No, professor. Then why are you repeating the same line? You want to say the same thing over and over? Go work at, go work at in and out. At least then you could get me some free some. Oh my gosh! Then you could get me some fries. From the top, you run the scene once more. Only this time, Vienna completely freezes up. Psst, Vienna, any day now. I uh. All right, enough. Next, just a second, Professor. I'm sure Vienna. Vienna is wasting my time and everyone else considerably less valuable time. Get it together by tomorrow, Vienna, or I'll give your spot in this workshop to someone who deserves it. Yikes. Nobody could make that nobody could make that scene look good. Vienna is getting chewed out by a professor in front of everyone. Should Dennis stand up for them? Yeah, for them. You and Vienna head back to your seats. Don't listen to Professor Hunt, Vienna. You just gotta it's okay, Dennis. I look pretty bad up there, but you wanna be a star in this town, you gotta have a thick skin. You take your seat, but Vienna keeps going for the exit. Vienna, class isn't over. Where are you going? I gotta take a walk. Catch you later. Bruh, she being a crybaby. She was just able to read the script. She wouldn't have this problem. I have to make sure Vienna is okay for our performance tomorrow. After searching all over social media for clues, you finally find Vienna at the historic Batista Theater, watching an all-day marathon of classic movies. Hey, Vienna, mind if I join you? Oh, hey, sure, if you want. I just like to watch the greats, you know? Vienna speaks in hushed tones in the dark as Jaws flickers on the bright screen. I figure I'm just not any good at improv, but so what? I'm an actor, not a writer. Improv is good for light comedy and all, but I want the immortal lines that everyone quotes. Take. You're gonna need a bigger boat. The flawless timing, the practice delivery, it's perfect. Actually, Vienna, that line was ad-lib. It was? Hold up, guys, let me switch positions really quick. Uh... 
There we go. That's much better. Hold up. Nope. Got a switch. There we go. Now that is even better. Actually, a ton of famous movie lines were totally unscripted. Anchorman, 22 Jump Street, even Star Wars. Some of the best moments in movies were all improv. Uh, so you're telling me I'll never be a star all because I can't improv? No, I'm telling you that if you care about something, you have to work at it. You can't let all VN masters down. I'm going to say the first line. Do you think Jennifer Lawrence just decided one day to start winning Oscars? You know something? You're right. Improv is just my next challenge as an artist. The next mountain to climb. Someone else in the audience shuts his Vienna. Oh, my bad. Okay, Dennis, I'm in. But how exactly do I go about, you know, learning how to improvise? Same thing you do for your regular acting. It takes practice, and I have a great idea for how to start. Dennis just rescued Vienna from an acting slump. But it, but it, ah, but was it in time to save their project? You bring Vienna to the bar Salona. Yeah, Salona, Salona, Salona. A huge line wraps around the block. You walk up to the door, only for the bouncers to block your way. What's the meaning of this? Out of the way, I'm... I'm going to say the Baca sales rep. What do, your, what do your boss say after I pull your top shelf supply and your guests have to drink vodka that comes in plastic bottles? The bouncer share a nervous look and step aside. You and Vienna walk inside the crowded bar. Wait a second, Dennis. Can you actually hook me up with some nice vodka? That, my friend, was improv, and now it's your turn. All right, let's level her up. Level her up. Level her up. All right, she's leveled up. Go back to the quest. 20 cash. Flirting is flirting is just improv for the real world. Eh. Oh my gosh, I almost knocked down my whole box of computer stuff. You leave Vienna to an open table near the pack bar. Okay, Vienna, I want you to go up to that girl over there and convince her you're a dog whisperer, a national with fear of heights, and convince her of the selfie. Uh, a national with fear of heights. No way! What if I embarrass myself in front of everyone? Once is enough for today. Thank you. Embarrassing yourself is what it takes to do improv. It's being real and vulnerable, isn't it? Well, yeah. Adding is becoming the character. Sensing their feelings, thinking their thoughts. That's exactly what improv is all about. It's becoming someone entirely new. But the difference is, it's all inside you. You don't say what's on the page. You say what the character would say. Be your character. Be natural and you'll be convincing. Vienna takes a deep breath and walks over to the girl at the bar. They start chatting. After a few minutes, she comes back to you, wide-eyed. She totally bought it. I can't believe that worked. She asked me what I did, and suddenly I found myself talking about how I had to fix the inter International Space Station with my eyes closed because I was so scared. And how did you feel doing it? I felt like I was my character. I didn't even feel, yeah, I didn't even feel like I was playing a role. That's how you know you nailed the part. Vienna just practiced some improv techniques at a bar. Do you ever act a part when meeting people? So Vienna, ready to nail that improv scene tomorrow? Maybe not on the first take, but that's okay. I just have to stay loose and keep trying new things. That's the improv, improv, spirit, improvational spirit. In improv, you have to set each other up for success. You've done your part. Time for me to do mine. The next day, you and Vienna show up to the class, eager to get started. Vienna, I'm surprised you even dared to come back. This is improv, professor. You can't be afraid to try again after failing. I think Vienna will surprise you. I haven't been surprised since the ending of The Sixth Sense. Just to make sure you and Dennis haven't been memorizing lines, you got a new scene. Yeah, you've got a new scene to do this time. Let's see. Dennis, you're the world's worst bank robber and Vienna's the world's friendliest cop. Well, what are you waiting for? Amuse me. In front of your class, in front of your whole class, you burst out from behind the stage cur behind the stage curtains in a panic, pretending to carry two heavy duffel bags. Oh man. I can't remember why I parked my getaway car. Why'd I fill the bags with coins? They're so heavy. I can't remember where I parked my getaway car. I'm going to say that line. As the class giggles, Vienna comes patrolling the corner and spots you. Police, hold it right there. You look lost. Here, I'll give you a lift. Where are you heading? Cut. Congrats on remembering how, how your tongue worked, Vienna. But let's see if, light if lightning can strike twice. From the top, you restart the scene running on stage and pointing a finger at Vienna. Nobody move. This is this is a stick up. I want wait. I forgot to cut any holes in my mask. Where is everyone? Over here. No here. A little to the left. Your other left. Vienna pretends to help you pull off your mask. Whew. Thanks, officer. I'm here to protect and serve. By the way, you shouldn't hide your face. You have a beautiful you have beautiful features. 
The class laughs as a few more takes Professor Hunt gestures to cut off the camera. Okay, okay, that's good enough. Next. So, did we manage to surprise you? Surprise? Try relieved. Relieved that Vienna isn't completely failing to live up to her potential. OMG, did he just say I have potential? Okay, new world record. That's the nicest thing I've ever heard him say. In a heartwarming comeback, big... Ah, in a heartwarming comeback story, Vienna just aced their improv class with Dennis's help. Coming soon to a theater near you. After class, Vienna draws up to you. Hey, I just wanted to thank you, Dennis. All this time, I was locked into my method as an actor, locked into the script. But you showed me the stars. But you showed me the stars, knowing to trust their own instincts. And now I know I can too. I just mean, you know how much I idolize Professor Hunt, but it's you who really taught me something. Just don't tell him I said that. My lips are sealed. Listen, Dennis, there's something else I gotta tell you. I just found out my long-lost uncle is now my rightful guardian. I have to move to France. This is goodbye. Wait, you're leaving right now? Ha! Kidding. That was just more improv. I'm obsessed now. Clearly, I've created a monster. Alright, guys, that is the end of this quest. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did, hit that thumbs up button for your boy. This is episode 3, and I will see you guys in episode 4. So with that being said, Savage Lord Barlow is out. Peace out.